Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome to Borderlands 3. It is here after all these years. We have a third part in the Borderlands series. Well, technically, we're already at the fourth part because, of course, after Borderlands 2, which we're also playing on this channel, we had the pre sequel, which played out between Borderlands 1 and 2. So, at that point, it was a sequel and the pre sequel at the same time. But now we have a fully fledged sequel. First things first, if you're watching the channel already, you might have noticed that we're already playing Borderlands 2, as I just said. We're gonna continue that, but we're gonna move that back a bit for this series. So this is gonna take priority for a bit, just to see what the response is between this series and the second game. Um, probably also gonna depend on how much I like this one compared to the other one because of course I've played Borderlands 2 a lot and this is completely new so uh, that's basically my reasoning to prioritize this first. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Let me know how you found the channel because I really really am curious about that. Um, I tend to be really really precise with my playthroughs, really thorough. I want to explore as much as I can in every game that I play. Talk about the story a lot, talk about the little things in each game as well. And we're, I think that's basically everything I need to say. So I've watched a few trailers of this, so I know a bit, but other than that, I'm completely going in blind. So this is my first playthrough. Everything is going to be new to me, so you're going to get my reaction fresh on everything that's going to happen. So let's get into it. New game, and ooh, there's an easier difficulty. And then there's probably, no, so normal. And then the group mode is cooperation. Every bit of loot you find is dropped for you and unique to you, so instance. And your teammates can take your loot, which is great, because that was a bit annoying to my tastes. In the uh, older Borderlands, you, uh, the loot was shared between everybody. So if there was one legendary drop, then only one character, only one player could actually pick that up. But with cooperation, that won't be a problem because every loot is going to be instanced. So, you want to hear a story, huh? A tale of adventure across the stars. <laughs> Come, listen to old Marcus. Have I got a story for you? My tale begins here, on this backwater planet called Pandora. Some say it is a wasteland of greed and violence, and it is. But if you've got skills to pay the bills, <laughs> Pandora is full of opportunity. Vault Hunters. They brave the merciless borderlands in search of secret alien treasure. My father told me tales of vault hunting when I was but a little Marcus boy. And now, I tell you. So, you ask, what treasures do the vaults hide? Fame? Wealth? Power? <laughs> or maybe nonsense like charity or family. I don't know, use your imagination. Whatever the price, a Vault Hunter must have the determination to seize victory from the jealous hands of fate. Now, my story is about a very special band of Vault Hunters who have only just started their journey. They are bold and hungry. Maybe old Marcus tells you this story because they remind me of you. Just a little, don't let it go to your head. These new Vault Hunters are answering a siren's call. Her name is Lilith, and she is a hero, savior of Pandora a dozen times over. Lilith is recruiting a team to hunt for a map. A map that leads to vaults all over the galaxy. But she is not the only one. Dark forces have gripped the borderlands. A new threat unlike anything the galaxy has seen before! My story begins right here on Pandora, with our new Vault Hunters, their Siren Leader, and, most importantly, me. In another bus. So Borderlands 1 also started with a bus, but let's just enjoy the new starting cinematic because those are always really cool so yeah that's not his own arm he's scratching himself with 
the children of the fold. So usually I'm gonna be quiet during cinematics when people are talking, otherwise I will be giving commentary, depending on what we're seeing. Um, based on the previous games, this is probably gonna be licenses music in the first scene, so I'm gonna definitely talk over this, because otherwise I'm gonna get a copyright strike. And just while we're going on, uh, I'm gonna assume that everybody watching this actually saw, played, or whatever Borderlands 2, and there goes the bandits, Borderlands 2, and or the pre-sequel. Uh, not in case of any extra information, I just want to... Jesus Christ, that looks horrifying. Uh, just spoiler-wise uh, as well, but I'm gonna explain everything as much as I can, but just spoiler-wise, I'm gonna assume that everybody played through Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel, so that we know that we're on the same page, and I won't spoil... Well, I will be spoiling a lot of those games, because I think this game will do that as well, since we saw both the Fold Hunters of the first game and the second game, in the beginning cinematic already and of course that Marcus is lying his ass off because he was showing uh, a poster of the well Vault Hunters from 1 and 2 while he was a little boy but of course grown up Marcus was already in Borderlands 1 and 2 so Marcus is a guns dealer who will be seen quite a lot and these are our new Vault Hunters I suppose against a bunch of bandits and there we go. Holy crap. So that's uh, because the Beastmaster, so Flak is a Beastmaster, controls beasts, definitely. Then we have Mulzi, if I'm not wrong, with a mech. There we go, Mulzi the Mose, Mose, or Mosey, I don't know, Mose the Gunner. And then we have, I forgot her name. There we go. Our new Siren though. So Amara as a Siren. And then we have the Commando stand-in, probably. There we go. Blamo. Zane Flint as himself. He looks like he has the abilities of Handsome Jack, kind of. What Handsome Jack look alike from the pre-sequel. Holy cake. It's an explosive start. And it introduces them uh, quite well. Uh, that's a monkey. And a rack. And Max. Well, drones. So that probably showcased their abilities quite well. So Moe's has a mech. Zane Flint, or whatever his name was, has drones. And then Flak has the beasts, and Amara does her fisty siren powers. Uh, there we have Marcus's it's a bus. Beautiful day, full of opportunity. So, who's coming? He looks quite a bit different, and he has a ponytail if I saw that correctly. So, now, the hardest thing I'm gonna have to do in this entire playthrough, decide who I'm gonna play as. So, in Borderlands 2 we're playing as Zero. So Flak kinda looks like Zero, but I do like his abilities. So the Siren abilities are usually pretty straightforward, so that's gonna be just smashing and one-off explosion. So that's, for me at least, those are the least interesting abilities because they don't change the way you play the game all that much. They're just used as a bit of a panic button. Then Flak, those beasts are actually supporting you, which is gonna be interesting in, of course, a single-player playthrough. Same with Zane's ability, who... Well, I feel like he can do both the uh, holographic duplicates of himself, like handsome... Well, the Jack clone could. Uh, the Jack doppelganger could in the pre-sequel, and the drones from uh, Wilhelm, which is interesting, a very versatile character, so he's definitely on my list. And then Moe's has the Mac, the Iron Bear battle suit to shield herself while unleashing a salvo of that. That also seems like it's just a different way of shooting, while Zane might be the more, I don't know, flexible one. I'm hesitating between Flack and Zane. I think I'm gonna go for Zane, so there we go. Zane. Zane it is. And back to the cinematic. So Borderlands 1 also started with Marcus, Marcus and his bus. Don't know why the subtitles are gone. Good to see someone survive the attack. I'm Lilith, commander of the Crimson Raiders. Those bandits you fought are part of a cult hunting for the vault map. You and I are gonna find it first. 
For now, my scout is waiting for you up ahead. Good luck. Okay, so Lula took over Angels. Got it. Position. This is your stop, Volta. Time? Let's have some fun! Try to stay alive. I'd hate to lose a new customer. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, first we're gonna have to change some settings because I feel like wow the motion blur on everything like this is okay, there we go. And welcome to Pandora. So definitely hey, still no you must be the new recruit. I am a CL4PTP steward bot. I'm gonna interrupt the you there, Claptrap. Call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders. What's your name? Wait. Zane. Zane Flint. There we go. Thanks. I'll pre-order your tombstone just in case. Now, those jerks who tried to murder you are the children of the vault, a bandit cult who follow their creepy leaders with blind devotion. Which reminds me, if you're going to obey my every second call, you'll need an echo device. So there we go, pretty similar to how the other Borderlands has started. Echo device, install that. I do love that our character is fully voiced now as well. Echo 3, slightly more powerful than the Echo 2, and twice as expensive. Besides, the Echo 2 had a tiny issue with spontaneous combustion, so they rebranded those as grenades. Okay. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over a Children of the Vault propaganda center. Time to show those culty weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders. Follow me, recruit, to glory! So we're the operative. So that's his title, Zane's title. A few things before we head on. Lilith took over Angel's job, apparently, because um, right now, it's a bit of a spoiler for Borderlands 2, but Angel dies, and Angel was also a siren, so she was in the previous games, was the only character that was live action, I think, and Lilith now got the live actress, live action actress as well, which is interesting. Plus, the second thing I wanted to talk about is that Claptrap is no longer voiced by the same voice actor, because that voice actor had a bit of a, how do I, should, should I put this? A dispute with um, with Gearbox's CEO, Before Randy Pitchford. Vengeance, you'll need to register your Echo at this quick change. Okay. If we defeat the cult, I'll be famous. And when I'm signing autographs, I need you looking sharp while defending me from my legions of fans slash stalkers. Okay, then we'll do just that. So that's where we uh, change our appearance to customize that a bit. So that's us. I'm going to change that a bit, so give me a second. Okay, for now I can only change my colors apparently because I haven't unlocked anything else yet. So there we go. Uh, oh, user agreement. Wow. Boring. Don't worry, corporations have our best interests at heart. Except Dom and Hyperion. And never mind. Okay. The propaganda center is this way. It just disappeared out of its own, by the way. I wanted to check out if there were any funny quotes in there, but uh, apparently not. Can I kick a car? Can I kick a car? No, I can't. I can't. Um, apparently there's a machine over here that can... How the hell does this work? Oh, it actually is a gate. It is a working gate. It's a car strung up by a crank. There we go. So, I think that the biggest difference between... Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3 is actually can actually slide. Oh yes. Oh, this is awesome. Finally some mobility. Huh. And jump. The propaganda center is up ahead. Those cultists have been killing Crips and Raiders left and right. They totally suck skag balls. Oh, look at that. I've got a foolproof plan to kick their culty asses. Okay. I hit a weapons cache nearby. Stay quiet and follow my every move. It's stealth time. Okay, and apparently I see stuff my friends have completed as well. Complete our mission, Lilith has to promote me to Super General. Super General, I don't think that's an actual rank. Okay. Great. I'm sure there's some people on the moon who didn't hear that. Relax. On Pandora, it's actually super weird if something's not exploding. Now take your gun, recruit. You're gonna need it. Is it me or is Zane Irish? That's gonna be interesting. There we go, let's open that up. Oh, look at that, the Moloko. Five under-barrel zip ro rockets. Okay. These guns 
like myself aren't beholden to their primary function. I can dance and sing. And some guns now include an alternate shooting mode. Try it out. Okay, um, should, should I try it out? So I can switch between this and this. So this just shoots bullets, this shoots rockets out of this little thing. So I don't know how that's going to work, but it's an awesome first gun. What was that? Right I'll talk my way in, become their king, and then you'll surprise slaughter them in cold blood. Watch and learn, recruit. Okay, I will. Hello? Anyone there? Can this Easy. thing shoot? Easy, I'm, uh, I'm coming out. Just wait right there. Um, gap trap? That's gonna be a trap, I think. I did it. Another victory for the Crimson Raiders. Hey, I feel funny. What's happening to Yeah, me? that's a magnet. <laughs> Bye, clap trap. Oh, there he goes. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, look, they're Shiv. Oh, wow. Hi. Did he just miss on per... Ah, it's burst. It's burst. There we go. Ooh, this feels a lot different than... ...in Borderlands 2. Oh, God. I want to change to that rocket thing. Ooh, wow. They're actually going straight ahead. There we go. Yeah, how? You're gonna throw me stuff? Oh, there's, there's health over there. There's health over there. There he is. Okay. Where's the... There was still one enemy alive, right? Oh, there he is. Okay. A recruit. Okay. Okay, bye, Claptrap. I'm just gonna open up some loot. I know Claptrap can be a little Claptrap, but he's still one of us. You're gonna have to save him. I'll be there soon. Okay, thank you Lilith, or live action Lilith, or whoever you are. I don't think any of those guys actually dropped weapons, so... With that, we can just move on to the next arena. This place is great. This place looks really great. I do want another gun. Okay. There we go. Just gonna take out the psychos first. I love how the psychos were redesigned a little bit. And the fanatics looked a bit different with their combat armor as well. There we go. And there's another psycho. There we go. And he's going forward again. Okay, thank you Claptrap for the tutorial messages, you're still feeding me while you're hanging upside down from a magnet in the air there. Um, a shield. Take a shield. Oh, there we go, we can actually shoot the bottles. Sorry Claptrap, I got distracted there for a bit. I'm gonna get a shield, buddy. The game actually didn't like me to take that long about looking for the shield, so they actually just told me it's over here. <laughs> Which is a bit silly, I was just looking around for stuff. Um... So those all all those shields are the same, right? Yeah, that's just that's just. Ooh. Wait. There we go. Bigger shield. Okay. Quota for the day. 
Uh, are you going to bring claptrap as well? Because I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I would hate to get him from that magnet and that hides. Shiv. Shiv. So I do love that Zane's melee attack actually is like a holographic knife. Kind of like what uh, Shepard uses in Mass Effect. Oh, got seed. I'm going to sharpen my blade on your spine! Okay, hi Shiv. You have a tiny left arm with a screwdriver. It brought a knife to a gunfight. Okay. Hi. Um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, hi. That was probably a mistake. Zip rockets. Ooh. So he can actually throw stuff. Okay, he actually hit me there. Ooh, wow. Ow. Maybe I should lure him... Lure him over here? Oh, I thought that was gonna explode quicker. It did. But it exploded on me. I'm gonna love that sliding. Oh god. Oh, he's actually reacting to my hits as well. That's new for the Borderlands boss. There we go. Okay, what's just happened? Ah, action skills unlocked. There we go, you got skills, trophy. Congratulations, you've leveled up. Leveling up permanently increases your health. It also immediately gives you full health and shields. Most importantly, you've unlocked your action skills. You have three action skills to choose from, that's new. View and equip your skills by pressing the touchpad and navigate to skills screen. Things told. My kind of maniac. Okay, so there's another gun here, the polite scatter gun. The Crimson Raiders. You and Claptrap secure the area. I'm on my way. And there we go. Here we have the shotgun. And okay, so let's go with the action skill. Ooh, whoa, fancy animations, all that. And he's looking fancy as well. Action skills unlocked. Multiple action skills, and he can equip two action skills at a time, but using a second skill, we can move his ability to throw grenades. So, first one, barrier. Drop a deployable barrier that blocks incoming projectiles. Zane and his allies can shoot through the barrier, dealing increased gun damage. Press all L1 or R1 while barrier is active, picks up and holds the barrier, but the size and bonuses are decreased. So the barrier, then we have, oh, SNTL, Sentinel probably. Send it to battle an automated Sentinel drone that continually flies through the environment and attacks enemies with its machine guns. Ooh. Yes, I'll wonder R1 while Sentinel is active causes it to attack the enemy under Zane's crosshair, if any. Machine gun damage 5, 24 seconds long and 60 seconds cooldown. That is actually pretty cool. And then we have the Digiclone spawn a Digiclone of Zane. This clone stays in place but distracts and fires at enemies. Ooh. L1 or R1 while the clone is active causes Zane and the clone to swap places. Even cooler. So I think using the clone and the drones might be the best for me because I'm playing solo. So let's equip the drone in slot 1. And then equip the... Can I? Oh, wait. There we go. Square. Uh, equip the clone in slot 2. There we go. Do I have skill points? I don't have any skill points, so that's that. Badass, oh, so Guardian ranks. Return after completing all the story missions. So that's different. Badass ranks are gone, which is interesting. Okay, so now, how do I activate that? Is that L1? Oh, there we go. Ooh. It, it's like a drone, like a, a, a bug almost. And then this guy, you get to see this all the time and then if i press that i'm actually swapping positions with him that is awesome i'm really glad i chose zane he's really versatile probably the other ones are too but that's just that's just pretty cool i don't have any grenades just yet so that's no problem unless i already had grenades and i missed it but controls are over here yeah yeah clap crap i know give me a second so first boss fight boom Shiv wasn't that hard, I feel like. So, because of course they want to start with an easier one, one that doesn't actually shoot back. 
Ooh, loot the six galaxies, open lootables. So those are, they're still challenges, but I don't know how that works. Let me check that out. Okay, don't really see where that's going, but it might unlock later on. So those, uh, that audio cue is my ability coming back, which is nice. And then we can use the controls. There we go. The thing that was gonna happen. Revive Claptrap. I think there's still not gonna be any fall damage, right? There we go. Let's revive him. Ah, there we go. You okay, buddy? I single-handedly took on the COV and sent them packing. Now all that's left is to signal Lilith that the mission is complete. His design is actually reinforced as well. He has extra metal plating than he did in the previous games. And he's doing something. Ooh. Holy crap. Hi, Lilith. Because Lilith is, of course, also a siren. Previously known as a firebird. Ooh. Of her updated design. There we go. Lilith, commander of the Crimson Raiders. I can safely report that Operation Trojan Claptrap was a complete success. I did it all by myself. I'll bet. Well, the cults destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold, so this will have to do for now. So what's your name, killer? Okay, so this is going to be our base then? Hello, Lilith. I'm Zane. Zane. And you're the lady from my brain. Yeah, about that. Not the weirdest thing you're gonna see on Pandora. But seriously, thanks for answering my call. We might not have the numbers, but with a badass like you, we've got a fighting chance. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. I'm glad. No uh, by the way, I'm not looking at her boobs, I'm just pointing the camera down so I can, can have her in full screen. Let me know when you're ready. Ooh, grenade bolt. Great. You should equip the grenade bolt that it just gave you. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the drone then. Uh, so contact grenade, which is fine. There we go. Equip that. And then I'm going to have to go to my skills again and um, manage loadout and equip. There we go. Now we have a grenade again. That's going to be nice. There we go. Grenade on R1. So let's talk with her uh, again. A little extra boom never hurt anyone. Except me targets. All right. Accept me targets. That's right, Saint. I love to open. Oh. Stop throwing grenades, Claptrap. More COV. Let's see what you got, recruit. Uh, I, I got grenades. That was. Wait, what's happening to the audio? That's not how a shotgun sounds. Wait, where the hell did he go? My shotgun sounds a bit weird, but it might be fine. Ooh, there's zoom on this is. There's a lot of... Ow. Hi, hi Lilith. Moving on. Lilith was helping out. I'm out of grenades already. Nice fighting, killer. Hi, Lilith. Still not looking right. at your at your, your chest. And I'll, I'll look like this. Come on, killer. You're with me. Let me catch you up. A while back, we found a map. Led to vaults all over the borderlands. Dream come true, right? I didn't realize how big of a target it would make us. We got attacked and the map was lost. I've been looking for it ever since. This way. I was so focused on finding the map, I didn't notice that Pandora was changing. The bandit clans used to just murder each other for fun. Now they're all under one banner. A cult. The children of the vault. Right. Come on, let's take a look around. So I want to stay the back leaders a of the Calypso bit. Twins and their followers worship them like gods. They're convinced the map will lead them to something called the Great Vault, and they've been slaughtering anyone who gets in their way. We heard a rumor that a bandit clan found an alien artifact in the desert. Could be the map. And that's what we're here to find out. Okay, so I want to take a second. So Lilith, shut up for a second, please. Please shut up for a second. Okay, thank you. So recently, the Gearbox released a free DLC for Borderlands 2 that was called Commander Lilith and the Fight for Sanctuary, where Dahl actually tried to invade, well, capture Sanctuary, which they succeeded. And they wanted to get the map that we got at the end of Borderlands 2 that showed all locations of all the vaults across the galaxy. That map was eventually destroyed by Lilith when she destroyed Sanctuary uh, to get rid of the commander of the Dahl company that was actually uh, infecting Pandora with a sort of 
virus that changed everything into everybody into plant zombies. Um, we will get to that DLC in the Borderlands 2 playthrough, but uh, that's going to be a while. So that's how I wanted to give you this uh, quick summary. Your vault. I can't believe the bandits act locked. Okay. <laughs> Not going to keep a siren out though. You cut yourself off Way there, Lilith. Shift, recruit. I knew you had it in you. Thanks, Clap Clap. Yeah, oh wait, what? What? I oh yeah, she. Yeah, she face shifted through the door. So she can uh, go through across another dimension and just walk through the door, apparently. Couldn't do that in the first Borderlands, because she was a playable character there. This sounds... Ooh, that was a cool chest. Very fancy, and a big television. What do we have here? Free brainwash, bring friend, come in. Kill! The Sun Smasher Clan has recovered the sacred vault map! Send our followers to invite the Sun Smashers into our holy family! And hurry! The Twin Gods grow hungry! The map! I knew it! We have to beat them to the Sun Smashers. I'll open the gate. That guy was called Mouthpiece. That's a weird name. Well, not weirder than Shiv, I suppose. Okay, and those are the, the Calypso twins, probably. Yeah. Only the father. Join today, Children of the Vault. So that's interesting. It's an interesting starting point where the bandits, who are usually just an unorganized band of maniacs, are now actually banding together, working together into a cohesive whole underneath those Calypso twins. Twins, those guys. We haven't seen those yet, but I saw them in the trailer. They're the bad guys, obviously. And the droughts. I do love the, the loading screens because they already show a bit of the level. I'm gonna set up camp and gather some intel on the Calypsos. Find the Sun Smasher Warchief and do whatever it takes to get that map. Seems like you guys got this. Good luck. I'm gonna go hang out in some trash. Okay, bye Claptrap. So what are we working with here? Well, this place kind of sucks, but it's all we got at the moment. Not the first time the Raiders have had to start from scratch. There we it's go. No Crimson Command. Hope Ellie gets that ship working soon. Wait, how was she gonna get that working again? I mean, you, you literally, literally blew it out of the air. It's gone. That's a weird place to start because I thought the DLC was gonna have to set the start for Borderlands 3. But if Sanctuary is supposedly almost working again, that kind of took the wind out of it again. Ooh, look, this ad looks a bit weirder now. That is interesting. That the, the art on these machines is is. Uh, very weird. Let's just keep it at that. Might want to buy... How much money do I have? I actually have plenty of money. High caliber contact grenade. Fires bullets dealing 35 damage per second. Plus 20% grenade damage. Grenades explode on impact. What? There's some really weird modifiers on these things. Uh, which is definitely something I like. Uh, 375. So that's going to be the best one. Although this thing... Because the damage is always pretty low. Like, damage to stuck target. Oh, I think I'm going to go for that. There we go. And then I can just check that out and equip those. Okay, there we go. Kind of got settled in there. So now we need to find the Sun Smasher Thief. Another thing I've noticed is that the map is actually filling up with a radius around me and not just... Ooh, that's vehicles probably. And not just... I'm. I'm in the area, I've discovered the entire area in one go, which was how Borderlands 2 did it. But can I actually get a vehicle? I'm assuming we're gonna get a tutorial about this. No, definitely doesn't work yet. So I'm gonna have to go on foot, which means it's probably not too far ahead. Again, as in our Borderlands 2 playthrough, I'm gonna be as thorough as possible. So that also means that if I see an exclamation mark, we're gonna check that out as well. Hi, Claptrap, what's this? Is that a gun? That's supposed to be a gun shop, probably. My vending machine is broken? There we go. Help Marcus repair his vending machine so you can get at them sweet guns. Ah, how am I supposed to profit off this war torn? Yeah, I mean, they sell premium weapons to heroic vault hunters such as yourself. Let's fix my vending machine. And by that, I mean, you fix it. Okay, so powerful connections identify the problem. So if you haven't noticed yet, Marcus is actually an arms dealer dad who profits from both sides of the conflict. So every single time. So definitely in this one as well. Ooh, 
Toilet. Toilets have weapons usually. Oh, that was just money. They just threw wet money in my face. So let's check the cable. Which is probably what we need to do. Uh, I can actually swap my uh, active quest with the arrow keys, which is also great. Damn cycles! Always scavenging to make their buzz axes and meat bicycles. You'll need to replace that circuit with something. Hmm. You know, some skags are chock full of electricity. Get me one of their spines. Better get used to doing things like this if you want to survive on Pandora. <laughs> That's a bit weird, oh, Marcus. Oh, and if you're feeling extra gruesome, you could also try getting a human spine from one of those filthy bandits. That could work. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why would a spine from a human work? Collect human spine as an optional objective. I hear skags already. There they are. Skag pup. Probably could go with the pistol just. Or not. Oh wow, these actually take a beating. Oh, that one's level 3. There we go, blew him up. Blew him up. And we got a grenade out of that as well. So let's just swap back. But no spines just yet, which is interesting. This place kind of looks like the Arid Badlands from Borderlands 1. Really, really similar to that. Oh, a barfer skag. Oh wow, he's strong. He's strong. He takes a bit of a beating. I feel like there's one behind me. Let's just jump over that. Send out my drone. Oh, and I leveled up. Whew. There we go. And then the one behind me, please. I think I... Ooh. I think I shot him in half. The drone is doing some work. Although... The, where is it? Where is it? Ow. He looks really cool. He might, yeah, he might take off my shield though. Go on, pick it up. Hope you don't mind handling this around. There we go. Skag spine. Ah, very cool. Bring it back to the machine and be quick about it. Okay, so rapid knot. Lower accuracy but higher fire rate, less magazine size. So new no, with the same damage and the same rockets. So not really interested. I'll take it, but I'm just going to sell it probably. What's this? So I did level up to level 3 though, so that means I have another skill point. And now we can check out what those trees actually do. So the drone abilities seem uh, pretty interesting. I'm not going to spoil any of them just yet. We'll see about them every time we get a skill point. But first and foremost, we're going to go with Violent Momentum. Zane's gun damage is increased while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the gun damage bonus. So 4% extra at default walking speed. So let's purchase that. That was really really dry i didn't get a fancy sound effect when i used that ability but so now we can actually go and check out the bandits first as well which might be interesting although you know what i don't think we'll get anything extra out of it when we use a human spine although i'm completely lost i'd like to know who i'm working with what made you decide to be a vault hunter oh i made my money doing dirty work for every rich arsehole this end of the galaxy Figured it was safer to quit before one of them decided to pay me with a bullet. So Vault Hunting's my retirement, I guess. Okay, it's cool that we get backstory from the characters this time. There we go. Wow, that, that sounds really close for some reason. First things first, I will guess we'll head towards those bandits. So find the Sun Smasher Chief. On the way, we'll probably kill enough that What the hell happened to this guy? What the... What the fuck? Ooh. That was great. That was barreled right over them. That was. Is that a. F Whoa, a female bandit. That I just shot in the face, but. At least she's. I mean, female enemies. Oh, he's not dead. He's definitely not dead. I love how they fall over. 
There's another spine for you. There's a spine. There we go. You found a human spine. You fit right in on There we go. Stuck it to the back. Give it a try. This would be just for the crack. Yeah, I think I saw in the trailer that you can actually punch barrels further. You set them off. Oh, there we go. I think she's dead. Yep, she's dead. She isn't dope. Ow. Oh, the shotgun. It's, it's actually the shotgun that pumps them back, which is really, really cool. There we go. Let's get the drone out. Female psychos. I didn't think I saw I was going to see the day. Yep, and then oh, that thing died. Oh, more fanatics where that came from. I'm gonna switch back again. There we go. On the lag, down both of them go. Just gonna shoot the electric barrel. There we go. Grab all that because I'm really needing it at the moment. What's this? They collaborated five by five. Not good enough. Not good enough for me, but ability's back. The loot is not all that clear between bullets and normal weapons, but once I get into the colors, that's probably going to change for the better. Ooh, a level four. That was quickly. That was quickly. There we go. Ooh, it just blew up. I think I can mantle now, yeah. Let the drone finish out, and I'll get you. Dink! Ooh, ow! Ooh, I dropped down. I'm certainly all level 5. There we go. Okay, so there's a few more enemies above me. Well, I do recognize your voice, Vaughn. Excellent prank. We've all had a great time, except for me. Please get me down. Please. So that's definitely Vaughn from uh, Tales from the Borderlands, and he was in the Commander Lilith and the Fight for Sanctuary DLC as well. So that's that's making sense. Cool. Damn you. There you go, drone. Wait, there's still one alive. Give me a second. Hey, buddy. There you go. There we go. Goodbye. And everything's silent all of a sudden. The sweet, sweet silence. Did anything drop? Because I missed all of that in that fight. The music is great as well, by the way. I'm really, really digging the, the sound design of this entire game. Oh. Somebody help me. So that's a better version of what I have now, right? Like Basically. This. There we go. Let's equip that. It is. It's, it's kind of funny, Vaughn. I'm gonna just uh, spend another skill point on probably the same skill that we've done before. So let's add another point of violent momentum. So that let's just uh, let's keep keeps us going. Ooh, the bladed raptor. Between five shot bursts and semi auto, but eleven damage. That is nice. I'm not using that. Uh, ooh, look at that. The textures were loading, so that's not great, but. So there's actually loot inside of the chests, the normal ammo chests as well. So that gives us less damage, but a bigger explosion radius. Uh, I'm just going to take it and sell it later, but it's really interesting. And Vaughn keeps yelling, but I don't know where he is. So I'm just going to follow the marker for now. If he's back here, I'm going to have to save his ass in a second. Hello? Yeah, Vaughn, calm down. I think he's... I, like I think he's... Yeah, he's there, upside down. Yeah, Vaughn, I'm here. I'm here, buddy. Ooh. He's still ripped, which is really cool. Hi, Vaughn. Hello. He's still upside down in his underwear and a cape. Vaughn. Banded live. So he was an accountant for Hyperion before. If you haven't played uh, Tales from the Borderlands. 
um, like together with his buddy Reese, he actually made a life for himself. He turned into uh, a bandit leader. Oh, what the hell is this thing doing? Aha. Uh -huh. So if I switch, I actually hold it sideways. If I don't, I actually have this, which is a single shot. Hi, Vaughn. Oh, 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 hey, yeah, ah, oh, feet work good. Nice to meet you. He looks wild. Hey, thanks. If you hadn't come along, I might be dead. So, what are you doing here? Uh, saving your ass. I'm working with the Crimson Raiders. Lilla sent me to find some nonsense. I assume there's a reward. You're with the Firehawk? Oh man, I used to run with Lilith back in the day. But you know, now I'm a bandit war chief. <laughs> Go Sun Smashers. I mean, at least I used to be a war chief. Until, you know, my clan found that stupid alien junk. I warned them not to mess with that crap. But what do they do? They tie me up and they take it to the Calypso Twins. Not cool, bro. Z well, we should probably get out of here before the COV come back. So, where are Lilith and the Raiders hanging these days? Former COV propaganda center. It's, uh, under new management. I killed them all. Okay, now that was talking. gross. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. I'll lead the way, even though I'm totally unarmed. Can't let them know you're afraid and totally defenseless, bro. Bandit life! Okay, bandit life. Bandit, bandit life it is. Is there any loot up on this pile of cars? Just, just curious. Oh, yeah, there is. Holy crap. There's a giant weapon chest. Ooh, that was really elaborate. Shots to break. The more splainer. It is level 6. So it's 2 levels higher than I actually am. So 9 by 2, but uses 2 ammo per shot. 10% critical hit chance. Shots to break. What does that mean? A limited magazine size, but weapon heats up and eventually will break. Interesting. Probably not going to use it, I'm going to take it. Ginormous death shot. Ah, it's a TDR weapon, so if you've uh, played Borderlands 2, you know that if you reload a TDR weapon, you uh, throw it, and it explodes. So that is 10 damage, which is actually worse than what I'm actually using right now. And then we have Shrike, swap between Force Shot Burst and Semi-Auto, and the Splainer. So again, that's Children of the Fold. So that's a new type of weapon, the Children of the Fold weapons. I'm going to stay with, uh, with my current weapon for now. So, uh, let's speak to Vaughn again for some reason. So, you took over that COV propaganda center all by your little self? They have me outnumbered 20 to 1. Bad odds for them. I am impressed. Hey, there we go, chum. Oh man, the children of the vault totally trashed my camp. Like, that is not where that bloody skull should be. It is completely ruining the vibe. Oh, I know a shortcut. This way. So this kind of looks like the main hub area from the DLC, but um, might be a bit different. So the Fight for Sanctuary DLC. I'm just gonna follow Vol. Those Calypsos won't stop until every bandit on Pandora worships them like gods. Bandits don't need gods. We worship a hot fire and a charred piece of meat. There are our rules. So I actually picked up Iridium there, which is that small indicator on the right, the I'm purple sure indicator. Glad to see me. We're tight, bro. Super tight. Like, bro tight. That's a thing. So while we're here, I might as well put the spine in, right? Let's put the spine in. Oh, the spine over there. Or maybe that's just the harsh desert wind in my bare sun dappled chest. It might be, Vaughn. It might be. Okay, now install the spine. It, it, it is a human spine. <laughs> Spine's not actually gonna work. <laughs> I just wanted some payback because those bastards broke my machine. Still, I appreciate your dedication to capitalism. You've already got a shark skag spine. Try that. It will work much better, I promise. So we'll get an extra reward because we did the optional objective. There we well go. Let's done, put that in. Vault Hunter. Now you have access to my vast array of murderous wares in a new convenient location. And as an added thank you for dishing out some vengeance on those filthy bandits, let me open up my secret stash for you. Ooh. Who says payback doesn't pay, huh? Ooh. Good hunting! What's this? Powerful connections. 
We got uh, a secret stash immediately. That is nice. So that gives you... Ooh, and there's a weapon chest in here. A very fancy looking weapons chest. Give me some... Ooh, that's purple. We're going for purple immediately, are we? Rubberized Generator Claymore. 20% grenade damage. Reuter Sticky Rubberized. So it bounces, it does hit damage, sticks to target, and it generates... What? Health? Heal shield for 30% of shield damage dealt. And 25% extra damage to stuck target. I want to equip it, but I can't just yet. I'm going to have to remember that. And then there's two green ones. But although I can't equip that either, because I need to be level 5. So let's just grab all that. We might even be able to sell that back to him. Because of course we can just sell him our excess weapons. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. But first we're going to check out the Hello, weapons. It's themselves, because that might be nice. Is that a reappearing weapons chest then? That's an SMG. I do want a bit of variety in my weapons. So let's get the SMG. Then the powerhouse collaborator. That's another shotgun. Uh, might actually be... Ooh. The liberating power play. Well, I already have an SMG now, so... Getting an extra SMG might be a bit weak, but it's funny that you can get purple weapons in the shop that easily. Damage to projected front facing shield amplifies weapon damage. You know what, I'm gonna buy the SMG and I'm gonna buy the shotgun, but I need to sell a few things to buy the shotgun. So there we go. And then the iron willed scatter gun, because the rest is, yeah, that's it. Iron willed scatter gun. So there we go. And then now we can check out an inventory. And we got a bubble hat, the, the hat for Marcus as well, which is cool. Look at this SMG. That is a, ooh, hoo, hoo. Is that a shield that pops up? Wait a second. So weapon shield capacity 68. So this thing actually deploys a shield as well and damage to projected front facing shield amplifies the weapon damage. So if I catch damage, I can shoot it back at my opponent. That is awesome. And it looks, is that different purple than, no, it's not. And then the shotgun also has the ability to uh, ricochet a bullet if I get a critical hit with it. So that's, this is going to be awesome. Let's speak to Lilith next. Side quests are awesome. So, hi Lilith. Take out that shiv jerk. Thought he was so cool just because he had a big knife sword thing. Okay, thank you, Vaughn. There's too much to do. Hello, Lilith. The map was gone, but I picked myself up a bandit souvenir. Map? Uh, if you're talking about that alien junk, my clan is bringing it to the Calypso Twins as an offering. They're heading to the Holy Broadcast Center. It's where the Calypsos host murder sermons to amp up their followers. Can't let the Calypsos get that map. But the Holy Broadcast Center is a long ride. Vault Hunter, you're gonna need some wheels. My friend Ellie runs the catcher ride. Go introduce yourself and she'll hook you up. Oh yeah, Scooter died. I don't know if you knew that already, but Scooter is dead. So we won't be seeing Scooter in this game, which is probably the best, since he was a bit of a racist, redneck kind of character, so probably not the best, best image for something that's already pretty edgy. But Ellie is Scooter's sister, so we're gonna be able to get our vehicles from her, because she's also a mechanic. And Claptrap actually has a quest for us now as well. I've got a job for you! Ah, that's great. Hello, Claptrap. Claptrap lost his antenna due to his magnetic personality. Ah, I noticed that. I thought that was happening. He, When he fell, he lost his antenna. Probably stuck to the the magnet still. But uh, help him find some suitable replacement antennas. Recruit! You have to help me! I... Oh. I lost my antenna! <laughs> okay, he's crying now. This is an opportunity, boy all. I can help you freshen up your look. Yes! I'm gonna be bigger and better than ever! But this is an important fashion decision. Bring me replacement antenna options, recruit! Options, I say! Okay. Go for it! Even though finding me a new antenna is vitally important, you can do this mission on the side. And you'll probably want to get a vehicle for this one. Ah, I was just gonna say that. It looks like we have a lot of um, well, locations to check. So probably should go back to Cold Follow. That swapping of side quests is amazing. Just using the arrow keys to swap. I'm gonna be so annoyed when I go back to Portalands 2. That's gonna suck. Hello, buddy. Ooh, wow. Holy crap, the fire rate on this thing is 
Um, destructive, to say the least. Vaughn, what the hell? You knew I've been looking for that map. Why didn't you bring it to me? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, I see what happened here. Let me explain. Uh, I let the map slip into the hands of culty psychopaths, and now the whole galaxy's in danger. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, same page. You know what this calls for? Apology push-ups. You don't have to... Uh, I'm sorry! Okay, he's doing push-ups now. To apologize to Lilith. This is getting a bit weird, Vaughn. So, Ali, where's that? That looks... That looks great. Best prices on Pandora, Ali's Garage. Huge selection. Is that... That's not pointing to her, is it? Ali? Ali? I think Ali's not home. There's still that sexy grenade on the ammo dump machines. That's a bit weird. Ali? Ellie, where are you, Ellie? Oh, there she is. Now remind me, what'd you say you was gonna do to my gal pal, Lil? God Queen Tyrene will drink soup from the skull of the great heretic. My bad, finger slipped. <laughs> oh, howdy! Didn't see you there. What the hell just happened? That man is gone. That man is gone, Ali. What do you do? So that just refers to her intro in Borderlands 2 where she crushes a guy in a crusher. But what the hell just happened to him? He didn't even just explode. He just evaporated. Hello, Ali. I'm still scared of you. I heard y'all were in the neighborhood. Good to see old Lil found some new blood. I'm Ellie. Hey, what are you staring at, hun? Uh, uh. You're natural with that rocket launcher. My kind of girl. Ain't you a heartbreaker? Lil said you was looking for a vehicle. Damn cultists stole all mine. Mind stealing me one back? Then I'll set you up with a catch a ride. And thanks for coming by. You're, you're welcome, Ali. So take a vehicle or hijack a vehicle. That sounds like a new... I love the, the, the map design. It's somewhat more, so much more fluid, I feel like, than the... Where's the... Ali's crap. There we go. Oh, I love this SMG. I'm not gonna use it that long, of course, because we're gonna be constantly swapping weapons in this game. But this thing is amazing. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, buddy. I am so sorry. I do love that the shotgun has eight s shots. That's a lot for a shotgun. I could just keep going. Let's run around a bit. That was a critical. So that's the ricochet noise. Ooh. So if I get that noise, I'm actually ricocheting. Ooh. Oh. Oh, you did die for the Calypsos. Did that actually get you anything? I don't think it did. Hey, look. Ooh, that's a that's a vehicle. Definitely a vehicle there. There we go. Oh, I'm amped up. Look at that. That's the purple on the corners, probably. And I'm amped up because somebody shot my shield. There's gonna be a load in this game, isn't it? Is there? Okay. So they're doing circles. Hijack! Hijack! I saw the I saw the prompt. There we go. Ooh, bunch of okay. That's a weird way to do that. Customize your vehicle and unlock new parts by scanning hijack vehicles at any catcher ride. Vehicles spawned at a catcher ride also act as portable fast travel points. That's good. Don't like that's a good way to fix the fact that you might be stuck in the middle of the desert. Ooh. And that was Wilhelm. Ooh, oh. Yeah, I think she's gone. I think she lost her head. Oh wow. Ooh, there we go. I do feel that the controls are a bit less um, auto aimy in this game. There we go. Which is good. I'm gonna actually see how bad my aim is in real life now. That is cool. So that's a vehicle. They actually control like a bit smoother or automatic than before. I'm just gonna shoot a few more vehicles because I want to get a, a grip for this. Give up. 
So I'm guessing I can now use the ramp. The question is, what's the button? That's the button! That's the button. There we go. Mm. Those animations are smooth! Trying to. There we go. And it's scanned in. All right. Now register with a catch ride so you can digestruct a new one whenever you want. Just in case you get a Pandora flat, meaning your car explodes. Okay, so let's use Got a that. Rocket launcher I've been testing. All yours, sweet thing. Just make sure Ow. you equip it. Ow. Ow. I'm getting eaten. I'm getting eaten. There we go. Sorry about that. What's getting... It's getting eaten by little doggos in my ass. Let's try that again. So, we have the main vehicle, the paint job, colors, turret weapon, driver weapon, armor, wheels, and a mod. That's extreme customizable. Holy. Just change the paint job a bit, but otherwise I can't really customize anything. There we go. I'm gonna, and I can save multiple loadouts with this, so let's choose that. Deploy. Okay, so now we can get to the Holy Broadcast Center and get the Vault map. But, Ali also has another quest. So, uh, I'm just gonna... Oh no! It's... Ooh! That looks cool! It's a giant bandit with a mustache. And a lovely mustache at that. Dump on dump truck. Someone's been running their mouth time to put a bullet in it. Yeah, we do understand. That said, might be right to just go ahead and shoot him in the ass. That'll send a lesson to the other bandits not to mess with the raiders. You know what? Might as well end with that. So dump on dump truck. And that should be fine, right? I'm going to start with this first episode being a bit longer than the other ones. Because, uh, yeah, there's a lot to do in this game. And I want to start off really, really strong. Yo, Vault Hunter. So that road will take you right to the Holy Broadcast Center. Watch out for those so-called twin gods. What I hear, Tyreen Calypso's the star of the show. Her brother Troy runs the cult's propaganda. P.S. They both suck. Just saying. So I have a rocket launcher now, which is really cool. People explode when I do that. So, and dump truck is supposed to be here. The whole holy dump truck. Sorry. I need to shoot him in the ass, apparently. There we go. And then this guy. We, ooh, wow. This upper half is gone. He's gone completely. Avenge me. I don't think anybody will avenge you, buddy. So just... Um, oh, I feel like... Wow, those were bones and brains. I feel like these guys actually have mustaches as well. Kind of was too fast on the draw there to see that, but... I think I think they have mustaches. Look, there's a, a midget. Do you have a mustache? He doesn't. Oh, wow. Sorry about that, buddy. Oh, what the... You look fancy. Midair shot. Get me. Oh. Ooh. I just need it. Was that in his ass? I feel like that was in his ass. I shelled him in the ass. There we go. We got another purple gun there. The powerhouse power play. Again, with shield capacity. It does a bit more damage, but the shield capacity is... Less. Um. Hmm. I think my shield was. Dump truck stash is probably behind a secret trap door. Might need to do something special to get it open. Just gonna grab all the weapons. Uh, so I need to do something special. For some reason, I didn't get. I shot him in the ass. Might have not been precisely in his ass, but felt like that was nice. Do. Oh, there's water. So that will connect the collection, uh, the connection. There we go, and then swap that probably. We'll get it going. Yeah, it went down. It went down. There we go, and we're going down as well. But it's worth it. Thanks for taking care of that dump truck situation, sweet thing. 
There we go. You're welcome, Ellie. Glad we could help with that. And that gives us another red chest with not really anything interesting. But we got the same type of SMG we got from Marcus on Dump Truck himself. So that's going to sell for a pretty penny as well. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I think we've done quite a bit. We did the intro. And we've done a few side quests. So uh, very nice for a first episode, if I do say so myself. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Because I really did. So we're going to be continuing this quite a few times i'm gonna do a complete playthrough of course and uh yeah if you liked it don't forget to like it right here on youtube and when we get back we're gonna go to the holy broadcast center which is probably gonna be over there um so uh goodbye i'm gonna kill some more skags see you guys later <laughs>